Hey guys, it's Bonnie here. I would like to show you guys all about our Jesse tree today because December is just around the corner. Real life, I got my kids playing downstairs. So you might hear a little background noise. Uh, if you haven't been to my town before, my name is Bonnie. I'm a second generation homeschool mom of three kiddos. Um, my oldest one is only six, so I have all the younger ages right now. And yeah, I just like to share things that we're doing at our homeschool or our home, like life as a mom or parenting or just stuff in my heart. So welcome here and let me dive in to tell you about this Jesse tree. So I have this Jesse tree made by a young gentleman who used to attend a youth group that I was a leader for. And he does a lot of wood cutting and things like that. So I asked him if he would cut me out a tree and this is the beautiful job he did. So he cut this tree for me. It came in just plain wood. I stained it. I decided I wasn't going to varnish it because I really liked um, the non-glossy look. And I got these little handles from Amazon and they're actually like little jewelry box handles that I bought. And so I just put them all over randomly around the tree for all the ornaments to hang on. So I'm going to be showing you my ornaments later in the video and the book that we use to teach about the Jesse tree. Um, just kind of what is a Jesse tree? Um, I'm not from a Catholic background, but it does kind of come from Catholic roots. And basically through the month of December, you teach your children and your family discuss uh, the people in the lineage of Christ. So all the way leading up to Christ's birth on Christmas, you're going to be talking about Jesus Christ. And But you're actually going to start all the way back with like Adam and Eve. You're going to talk about Abraham, Rahab's in there. I will go into more detail with the ornaments here. This is the lovely book that I found online that I really, really like. It's called Unwrapping the Greatest Gift, A Family Celebration of Christmas by Anne Boscamp. So I don't know if I said that right. Um, this is her book. I really like it. There are, depending on, on your traditional background, there are a few different stories in different Catholic traditions for the Jesse tree. So if you are someone who grew up doing a Jesse tree, you might know a little bit more about the variations and history behind it. I didn't, but I just love the idea. So this is the book I found and I really, really like it. Um, so let me give you guys a close up of, 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 the, of the ornaments I made. I'm gonna put a salt dough recipe in the description of this video. Now, um, I made all of these ornaments with my kids out of salt dough and we painted them and mod podge them to keep them and they are just gorgeous. They are, they are seriously, they're just my favorite. And I mean, a few of them have broken and not to worry, uh, we have glued them back together, um, but most of them have stayed just perfectly well. And what we do is each week when we read the story that the ornament represents, it hangs on the Jesse tree hook. So we do this all the way up until Christmas until the last ornament is hung and it's Christmas day. And we just love it. It's so fun and such a great tradition that we brought into our home. Okay, so I have based all of our ornaments off of this book and kind of her symbols that she's used in her book. And so um, the first ornament is the Jesse tree stump. And it's based off of that verse that talks about out of the stump of Jesse will come a shoot. So anyway, so we have a stump here with the shoot. So we've got this one, um, the creation of the world. Where are we here? Oh yeah, I just did an apple for... Uh, Adam and Eve, and then we have Noah's Ark here somewhere. There we go. Noah's Ark here. Maybe you guys can see these a little closer. So there's Noah's Ark. Should have maybe done this before. This is actually Abraham. We've got the stars. His descent descendants will be more numerous than the stars. Let me just show you the rest here. I'll try to put the titles maybe in some, some text when I edit the video. So here, oh, this Jacob's Ladder. Joseph. So these are, this is a, just a really fun way to do ornaments. You can also go to Pinterest and just do printables and print them off, laminate them. There's Rahab's rope. Laminate them and just, um, put them on instead of doing all this work. This was quite a bit of work to make these ornaments, but I just really, really enjoyed it. We used a lot of our, just our Play-Doh cutouts. Um, I think these were even like leaves and then I just tried to make them look like fire. So that was kind of fun. Oh, what else here? 
Get rid of the candle. Where's Jonah? There's Jonah. And there's Bethlehem. No, I'm saying I'm saying only part of these. I believe this is Esther. It's her staff. Um, I'm only saying part of these. We've only done this for a few years, so I am not 100% awesome at remembering all the different stories that go along exactly in this book. But I love diving into the Old Testament during Christmas time. I think this is so unique. Uh, I'm so excited to bring this into our family and my kids learn their Old Testament stories even better. And, and because it's at Christmas time, you get the opportunity to relate all of these things to Christ. Uh, one of our favorite um, Bible stories, or favorite children's Bibles is the Jesus Storybook Bible. And there is a pin on Pinterest, if you go look, I can try to link it below. And it's using the Jesus Storybook Bible and all the stories in there as, as your Jesse Tree uh, topics and ornaments and book for the month of December. Oops, I missed this one. I think this one is David. So anyway, so you don't have to use a Jesse Tree book. You can even use the Jesus Storybook Bible if you want. There's lots of variations for sure if you're not stuck on the absolute traditional way um, that some people do it. So depending on, on what you like. But yeah, so this is an idea for ornaments. Thanks so much for following this video. If you made it to the end and checking out what we do for a Jesse tree, maybe it'll give you some ideas for this December. If you're watching this in the middle of December, maybe it'll be an idea for next year. Have a great day, guys. Bye.